Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Welcome back to TCM. We're kicking off the new year with a night of Marx Brothers comedies. And up next is a film they made at the peak of their popularity. From Paramount in 1932, it's Horse Feathers. The Marx Brothers became famous in the 1920s and 30s for their style of comedy that was pure anarchy, mocking and undermining serious institutions, professions, and authority figures. In Duck Soup, they lampooned government officials and international affairs. In A Night at the Opera, they targeted the elite world of opera and its wealthy patrons. And with Horse Feathers, their fourth feature film, they took their antics to the American college campus. Groucho plays Professor Wagstaff, the newly appointed president of Huxley College. Zeppo plays his son, who also happens to be a student at the college. Groucho's task is to boost the school's reputation by assembling a winning football team. And thinking that he's hiring professional football players, he recruits Chico and Harpo. Horse Feathers was written by a team that included songwriters Burt Kalmar and Harry Ruby. They also composed the songs that you'll hear in the film, including the Marx Brothers' signature tune, Everyone Says I Love You. Six decades later, Woody Allen would borrow that title for his 1996 musical comedy starring Edward Norton, Drew Barrymore, and Julia Roberts. Horse Feathers premiered in 1932 and became the Marx Brothers' most popular film to date, earning them a place on the cover of Time magazine. It also turned out to be their last big hit at Paramount. Their next film for the studio, Duck Soup, was a disastrous box office flop in 1933, even though nowadays it's often considered their masterpiece. After its failure, the brothers relocated to MGM, where their movies took on a new tone and structure. We'll get to see a few of those films later tonight, but in the meantime, from 1932, also with Thelma Todd, here are the four Marx Brothers in Horse Feathers. Horse Feathers was directed by Norman Z. McLeod, a former animator and gag man who got into the film industry during the silent era after serving as a fighter pilot in World War I. Director William Wellman hired McLeod as his assistant on the 1927 film Wings, where his job was overseeing the aerial sequences. Wings would go on to win the first Academy Award for Best Picture, and Norman McLeod would make his directorial debut the following year. His early experiences working on comic short films served him well as a director of comedies. He worked with the Marx Brothers twice on Monkey Business, which we saw earlier tonight, and Horse Feathers. Then in 1934, McLeod directed W.C. Fields in one of his best films, It's a Gift. Over the next two decades, he worked at many of the top studios in Hollywood, directing lighthearted classics like Topper, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, starring Danny Kaye, and Road to Rio, starring Bob Hope. Bing Crosby, and Dorothy L'Amour. Up next, the Marx Brothers return in their first film for MGM, a musical comedy from 1935, also with Margaret Dumont, Kitty Carlisle, and Alan Jones. Next on TCM, a night at the opera, then a day at the races, and later, room service. TCM puts it on the Underhills tab tonight. <laughs> 